Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the previous video, the Curves Basics 2, we talked about the importance of curves and in particular how it changes contrast and the uh, contrast increases as the gradient increases. So I, if I take this here and drag this to the right, I'm increasing this part of the curve here so the contrast steps across here is increasing. Whereas if I go back here, I've now decreased contrast and the gradient here is less. It's going up at a less, lower rate. So the next step is to look at what happens when we actually create a curve. We've only been playing with straight lines so far. And the simplest thing that you can do is to grab somewhere in the middle or anywhere in, in here and pull this upwards. And what happens is the picture brightens. As you go down, you go below the line, it darkens. Above the line, it brightens, darken, lighten, and so on. But let's look in more detail what's happening here. As I brighten it, say the blacks at this end don't change, and the white to that end don't change, because the end points of the curves are anchored at black and white. In the middle, however, here's the biggest change. The biggest change is happening in the middle. These are the mid-tones here. So these are the bits that change the most. The ones at the end change least. As you watch again, see the way the middle changes the most. So this basic brightening is particularly targeted at the mid-tones. This is pretty good because there's less change at the ends. And that's because our, our eyes are also less sensitive, so it doesn't matter that this is not changing. Our eyes are more sensitive to mid-tones. That's where we, most of the world is for us. And there's not so much that's dead black and not so much that's absolutely white. So this gives us a nice gradual way of darkening and lightening a picture. Look also at this the curve here. When I brighten it, the gradient here is steeper, isn't it? So this means that the contrast is is greater here. So in other words, in the the left hand part here, the steps are greater. If you look at the right hand side, where we're over here, lower gradient, so there's less contrast between each one. So in other words, when we pull the curve up, we're not just making it brighter, we're making the darks more contrasty and the lights less contrasty. If we pull it down, the reverse effect happens. So now there is less contrast amongst the darks going from step to step, but now there's greater contrast as we're going up here at the lighter end of the spectrum. Let's have a look at this in a real world example. Okay, here we've got a scene in Berlin. Let's just take this for a moment. Okay, stop making these little funny blacky bits. Here is a picture of. Um, it's a building in Berlin. I think it's a, oh, I won't guess. I'll, I'll, I'll be told that I'm wrong. Anyway, so we've got a lot of people here on the grass. Nice scene, but it's a bit dark, isn't it? It's partly because this bit's a bit over light over here in comparison, because the sun was up here and the camera sort of probably tried to compensate for one and the other and ended up a bit on the dark side. So what am I going to do about this? First of all, I'm going to hit Control J and get myself two layers. And one of the layers I'm going to make lighter, the other darker, and then we're going to combine them in a very simple way. So let's start with this one. We'll create a curves layer for this one. And let's do our brightening here. We'll pull this up here so we get brighter. So the darks here, increased gradient, more contrast. So the darker bits here are more contrast. The lighter areas, is less contrast. Yeah, the changes amongst in the light is here, yeah, the change in the dark is greater. You know, if you put it right up, you know, there's that effect. Okay, so let's, this could do with a fair amount of pulling up here. One thing to watch out for when pulling out, if I hit the top there, I'm going to get myself a black area, you know, a blind area of white there. If that sort of thing happens, you can add little points sort of in here to keep it off that white. 
but we'll just leave it here for now, that'll do. Let's go to the other curve, and to see that one, let's turn off the top curve. So what we're going to do now is make this bit a bit darker, don't care about the rest of the picture. So let's put on another curves here. Let's bring that up, and as we bring this down, notice the top left hand corner, the clouds get more definition. And now it's the you're getting contrast in the lights. So here there's more contrast across here, whereas the difference in the dark areas is not that great, because it's a less of a gradient. So how will we blend those? There's all sorts of ways to do this, but a very simple way. Let's turn this top one back on again, open it up so you can see. What we're going to do is add a mask. When we add a mask, then this initially is white, which means you're only going to get the top bit so it's still bright. But we'd like to bring back this bit here. So if we paint black on the mask, we'll punch holes through so we can see what's underneath. So let's go and select a paintbrush. Black is selected here, and now that what we're seeing under here is what's going to appear underneath here. Opacity is 56. Often this is a kind of good to paint with something a bit lower. Let's let's try 40% here. So we're just going to paint in this corner here, and each layer is going to bring back more. And I can for the last bits up here, I can maybe paint this a bit more. So there we go. We've combined these two. This is not great up there. We could do a little bit of combining that. So let's make that a little bit less here so we just yeah just kind of feather that in a bit more how about that yeah the sky can usually do with a little bit of more darkening there you go it's still a little blotchy but you get the idea we could spend more time on it so there we go very simply as we do that so pulling up for brightness pulling down for to make it darker but we get contrast effects as bits of the curve change their gradient level what we need to remember. Thank you very much for watching.